uh, hello, Munir Ajam, uh, with another video on project management, our favorite topics, of course. Uh, uh, this week I have been delivering a workshop on the SUCAD camp methodology uh, and uh, we are getting a lot of interesting discussions uh, on various topics uh, and one of them lead to uh, some question that came up today uh, and uh, here we are, we'll talk about it. The question came, actually, uh, initially started with a question on estimating. How do we do proper estimates? Um, and how do we estimate and budget for projects? Uh, basically, I've recorded, uh, I think, at least three videos before on estimating and the components of an estimate and what would be required to make a good estimate. But the discussion evolved into the concept of project management maturity. And so how do we ensure we have good estimates and how do we ensure we have a proper project management or reach toward a higher level of maturity in organization on project management? Now, my answer, the quick answer would be uh, project closure. And of course, what does that mean? How does project closure result in enhancing the maturity of project management practice in organization. Before I go into this, I have to step back for a second and said, look, project management maturity in organization, of course, the key component for this requires a proper building of an organizational project management system and continuously improve it uh, in order to reach a higher level of maturity and, you know, working toward a center of excellence status. Uh, but one of the contributing factors for that assuming we have done the system or keeping the discussion of, of establishing a system outside of this is proper closure again. Now why? Well, if we do proper closure, what does it mean? What does it mean? For, well, maybe we should define the word proper closure first. Uh, obviously closure, we mean the closure of every step of the, of the project, which has all the different stages, including, of course, closure, closure of the project. If we do proper closure of every stage of the project and at the end of the project for the whole project, what are some of the things we should be doing? According to our methodology, what we say the things that has to be done are the following. One, we have to document lessons learned. Now, of course, documenting lessons learned by itself is not good enough. I'm going to record another video on the question of lessons learned in a few minutes. But obviously we need to capture lessons learned uh, that happen during the stage work or phase and at the end of the project. Uh, one. The second one, we have to capture the project information and uh, incorporate it into the organizational corporate records knowledge base, basically, uh, assuming the organization have established an organization project management system and they have a historical data, which is corporate knowledge base, which include lessons learned, but it also include project information, such as castings, costs and schedules, performance metrics, key performance indicator. All of these things should be added into the database for all projects within the organization. And the third thing we should be doing, which we call project reconciliation, or what I would typically like to call storytelling. Yeah, The term project reconciliation, I have used and learned this term probably 20 years ago when I was working with Exxon in the US. Uh, and basically the term reconciliation mean, uh, is like what you do when you get your bank statement every month and you go check, go back to check your expenditure during the month and try to reconcile the account to make sure whatever checks you issued balance, yeah? And project management reconciliation is that when we compare actual performance of the project in comparison to the plan. Now, of course, this could be done on a monthly basis to see what's happening. For example, what changes have been uh, incorporated, approved, suggested, uh, what variances, major variances we've encountered, and all of these issues, so as part of project control in a way, it could be done on an ongoing basis, 
But at the end of the project, or at the end of every stage of the project, we should be summarizing the key changes between plan and actual uh, for that given stage. And when we say uh, plan and actual, we talk about all the different components. For example, scope, plan, actual versus plan. Cost, actual versus plan. Schedule, actual versus plan. Risk, yeah? Did we have any risk occur? Did we identify a new risk? Do we have any quality defect? Did we have any issues we did not anticipate? So basically, I call this is again reconciliation or storytelling time because we wanna find out in terms of numbers numerically uh, or quantitatively, what are the differences between uh, actual versus plan, that's one, and then also qualitatively, meaning why? Explain, tell us a story, yeah? Uh, if costs went up or down, why? Any good reason, any specific changes, were we able to negotiate better, or where was our budget uh, on the high side or the low side? Uh, did we skip something by mistake? Uh, did we uh, take shortcuts? Obviously, you know, if people take shortcuts, they're not gonna admit to it. But of course, if you have good proper systems in place, proper control, uh, they cannot hide it, right? We would know if somebody took a shortcut, you know, we would know or buy some substandard material. Uh, we would know it would become not sooner or later it's gonna be exposed. So, to make a long story short, if we want to build a higher level maturity in organization, we have to build do proper closure. Proper closure will include the lessons learned and the reconciliation and the update of database, which means what we can use in the future. That means the next project we can plan better. The next project we can minimize the mistakes. On the next project, if we learned our lesson, we will be able to avoid uh, mistake. Now we might make new mistakes, that's fine, but at least, you know, I don't want to keep repeating the same mistakes. And as a result of this, with the proper data and update of the database and corporate knowledge base and the lessons learned, obviously we would be able, yeah, to improve performance. With improved performance, we will be able to continuously improve our system. By continuously improving our system, we would be able to reach a higher level of maturity within organization in terms of managing project and enhancing organizational performance. Make sense? Have a good day.